Welcome to God's Healing Word, a prayer and healing school with my mom, Trina Hankins. And the Lord put it on her heart to have this prayer and healing school every single week so she can help you and teach you how to pray and also teach you how to receive your healing. There's so many people in need of that right now. They feel desperate. They want to know how to pray, how to get answers, and they also really, really want to receive their healing. So this is going to be a powerful time. I encourage you to open your heart and let's get ready for the word. Hello, welcome to God's Healing Word. And today you have a special treat. I have a special treat because Ginger Beerman, the one and only oh Ginger my. Beerman, <laughs> my mom, and I share her with the whole wide world. She can be your mom today. And mom, you have taught me something. I'm continually walking in and practicing. And uh, I think you sent me uh, this little um, teaching, I don't know if we could get it ready for you, but if you take notes, you're gonna get mom's notes here that I have lived by. I put them on my kitchen mm -hmm. uh, door, on the inside of my kitchen door. How many have notes on the inside of your kitchen door? And I open it up to, to get my coffee ready, mom. And, uh, I saw this, always be full of joy in the Lord. And you talk to me every day. So I wanna share mom with you. And mom, I just love for you to tell this teaching and the way that you have lived your life for a few years. <laughs> and she's still smiling, still strong. Praise God. Well, there, there's the word of God that we learn and it becomes a part of us mm -hmm. and that we need to, to remind ourselves of because we can forget. We That's need. the truth. Uh -huh. And so uh, this was a lesson uh, I taught to our uh, SALT group at church. What is SALT, Mom? Seasoned Adults Living Triumphant. I like that. Seasoned <laughs> Adults Living Triumphant. And this is how you do it. <laughs> This is how you do it. This is the way you do it. Always be full of joy in the Lord. So where's the joy? In the Lord. Yeah. And it says, in his presence is fullness of joy. So if we run out of joy, mm -hmm. what do we need to do? Just get in his presence. Get in his it. presence again. And then we get more joy. We can replenish our joy. That's real important. It is. It's, it's kind of like going to the gas station uh-huh it's something we Getting do refilled yeah yep. so do we want to read this whole thing or just go piece by piece go piece by piece okay. whatever you have okay in your heart. okay and then he says again i say rejoice so rejoicing is the same thing as having your heart full of joy in the lord okay so we rejoice how do you rejoice uh probably the first thing i do is smile yeah and then i get a little bit more aggressive about it i think about rejoicing when something really good happens uh -huh. and it is emotion that comes up out of your heart and shows on your and face it shows on your <laughs> face and then it comes out your mouth uh -huh. <laughs> it shows up in your action uh -huh. mm -hmm. and so i've heard i've heard it described uh, calm delight okay so that's that's a peaceful calm delight so that sets us above any any problems mm -hmm. any heartache that you would have mm -hmm. hey i got joy and the joy of the lord is my strength mm -hmm. and in his presence is fullness of joy mm. so we need to be full and stay full just Mom, so we don't do forget about it uh, what is your daily routine for staying full? Well, I usually get up at five or six and I yeah. read the word and pray. And I have some some healing confessions that are, I'm doing. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it seems like if you just keep partaking of the word, uh, it, it heals you, mm -hmm. it strengthens you. Mm -hmm. And it makes you have the right perspective. Mm -hmm. You'll be thinking the right thing. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeremiah says, Thy words were found, and I did eat them. Mm -hmm. 
So that's what you're doing when you're meditating on the word. You're putting so it in what happens when you eat something? Well, it makes you happy if it's good. Yeah, but then <laughs> what, what's it doing to your body? It's strength. It's energy. It's nourishing, isn't it? The rest of that verse says, Thy words were found, I did eat them, and they were to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. So the words mm -hmm. of God and the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. that's all connected. Yes. The word of God, because the word of God was spoken by the Holy Spirit. So it has energy in it. Mm -hmm. It's alive. Yes. It's alive. So uh, I was thinking, you know, when we were kids and we ate mm -hmm. food, it nourished us and we grew. But now we're all grown up. Mm -hmm. And so we are growing spiritually, though, mm -hmm. all the time. All the time. Nourished by the Word of God. Mm -hmm. It's nourishing our spirit, mm -hmm. our spirit man, mm -hmm. the Word of God. So it says, uh, and I say again, rejoice. So we're going to do that. And this is what he says to do. Let everyone see that you are unselfish and considerate in all you do. You know, if you look at that a while and wow. see and and uh, reflect back on how you're treating somebody, mm -hmm. what you're involved in, and if you're being selfish and considerate of somebody else's feelings, their life, you know, you can just uh, correct yourself and say, wow, I didn't realize I was being inconsiderate. I didn't realize that I was being selfish. You know, I think selfishness is one of the root causes for a lot of harm. Yeah, in a family, if, you, if you're a selfish husband and wife, you're only thinking about your needs. Mm -hmm. Then that causes some trouble. Mm -hmm. Selfishness is, is very, can be very devilish. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, and considered mm -hmm. in all that you do. Mm -hmm. So thinking about somebody else makes you happy. <laughs> Mark always says, if you're depressed, you've been thinking about yourself. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Yeah, that's a bad so thing get your mind about. off your own self and think about somebody else. So right in the midst of this, and this is in Philippians uh, 4, 4 through 7. Mm -hmm. And anyway, so uh, in the middle of the, that scripture, it says, remember, the Lord is coming soon. Is that important for us to remember? Yes. Why? What does well, that do for us if we believe the Lord's coming? It makes you be ready. It makes you act right. Uh -huh. it makes you think right. Uh -huh. Yeah. You clean up your act because you're aware. <laughs> and we need to be aware yeah. because he is coming. He, he is. is coming. It's interesting how Paul put that right in the middle of it all is. that. It is. The Lord is coming soon. So be ready. Uh -huh. Think about that. That's right. And so right after that, then he says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. These are such important words, um, Mom, in view of what you just said. The Lord is coming soon. What Paul said there, uh, if we're being ready and getting ready for his return, there's some things we need to think about. And the First thing he says there is don't get caught up with anxiety and worry. And so it's possible. I've heard people kind of joke about that. Mm -hmm. You know, in reality, mm -hmm. they said, well, it's not, it's not possible not to worry. Hmm. But it is because you know why? It says the word of God says to cast your care on the Lord. And guess what? If the Lord's got your care, you are carefree. Wow. That's the, Lord, the Lord's got it, and so he's taking care of it. Mm -hmm. All is well. All is well. So this is so, uh, the, our mindset and our prayer life are so connected because right here in the scripture, mm -hmm. uh, what we do in our prayers makes the difference in how we approach our prayer. We approach our prayer to God with confidence that he hears us, right? Mm -hmm. And that brings us to a, uh, a state of mind that's full of joy and expectation and calm. 
<laughs> settled this. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And that gives us strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then it says, tell God about your needs and don't forget to thank him for his answers. And sometimes I think we can do that. You know, we get ready to go on a trip. Yeah. And uh, I remember one time in particular, we were going to the airport, I think in Denver, and we came across that, uh, you know where they have the, the statue of Jesus up on the yes. mountain? I yes. forget what the name of that is. Yes. Anyway, it's all curvy there, and we were uh, driving, I think it was just beyond that, there was a curve, and we saw that a bear had come across the highway and he, he had just been in front of us. He was coming up out of the bar ditch on the other side. And so that would have been not too good if we would hit a bear. And we <laughs> could have. And so immediately I said, oh, Bill, we just prayed for safety, for angels that are protecting us. Yeah. They're on assignment taking care of us. And uh, we just missed a bear. <laughs> That's extreme. <laughs> so so we tell God our needs, yes. and then we thank him. Always thank him. So, Be grateful. Mom, you must have prayed before you left. We did. And you committed that uh, worry. You know, sometimes when I'm driving around these mountains, we're here in Colorado, and just to get out of your house, you're almost 10,000 feet mm -hmm. elevation here. So to go into Buena Vista, you have to go down and you go over another pass. You just... My goodness, we're high, and you got to get around a lot of curves, a lot of cliffs, and drop offs on either side. People driving crazy, crazy. So praying before you're going into a situation, God hears and He takes care of things ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So He took care of that bear. <laughs> and yes, it was. That's a fact. He got it out of the way before right. you got there. Just before we came around the corner. Wow. And so you know, uh, talking about asking the Lord for protection, mm. and there's there's scriptures that tell you that uh, He has sent angels mm -hmm. on assignment mm -hmm. to take care of you, that you mm. will not what stumble you will you don't dash your foot against a stone yeah mm -hmm. he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in, in all, all of your ways. ways so i think prayer acknowledges the word that god has given this promise mm -hmm. even the angelic protection mm -hmm. he gives his angels charge over you and it's good to say that out loud mm -hmm. that the lord is taking care of you that he's mm -hmm. he sent angels Psalm 103 says he, that they, the angels, hearken to the voice of the word of God. Mm -hmm. So as you're speaking and declaring God's promises, the angels immediately are on assignment. Mm -hmm. They're like the wind. They go quick. Mm -hmm. There they That's are. That's encouraging. And then another thing as far as being safe, we have the angels on the outside, but then we have have the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. on the inside, and mm -hmm. He is our, He directs our steps, mm -hmm. He counsels us. Mm -hmm. So, so we need to just be alert. Yeah, listen to the Holy Spirit; He'll show you things to come. It says, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's a pretty good team working for us: the Holy Spirit and angels. So, Mom, in the mornings when you get up and you're praying and you're going and making these truths fresh in your mind. You're praying about situations. And then the Holy Spirit, like you said, he brings you uh, thoughts and he teaches you things to come. So you can pray ahead of yes. the situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe that this is helping you to uh, be alert and on time praying ahead of the situation mm -hmm. and not worrying or going into anxiety, mm -hmm. or being fearful, mm -hmm. drawing back. Mm -hmm. but going I, I remember there was a time uh, that I was really anxious in a car. Mm -hmm. I just was really anxious. And it was, a you know, the word says that fear is tormenting. Mm -hmm. And it tormented me. Mm -hmm. But I remember the, the very time that 
I resisted fear. Mm -hmm. I gave it to the Lord, and I'm totally delivered from fear. Uh, I'm not anxious when we're driving someplace, mm -mm. and uh, I don't have, you know, premonitions of wrecking or anything. I just, mm -hmm. it's not there. Another thing uh, with as far as being uh, delivered from fear, I don't fear COVID. Now that's a timely word. Well, the Lord is is our healer. Mm -hmm. He's our shepherd, mm -hmm. and uh, and then the ninety first Psalm is just oh my goodness. We claim it; it's the truth. But it has to be. We receive it, and we have to put it into. Um, we have to activate it mm -hmm. by proclaiming it. Right. Proclaiming the word. Go ahead. You know, a lot of times people put things on automatic pilot, you know. But, Mom, what you're doing is daily walking in the uh, knowledge of the Word of God and being mindful about the promises of God, taking them. You said you're not a, you're not afraid of COVID. And, Mom, no. you are, how old are you? I'm 86. 86 <laughs> and, look, full of glory, full of strength and joy. You're amazing. You're just beautiful. But a lot of uh, people any age are so full of fear, fearful to go out of the house, fearful about, you know, because why? What are they listening to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. That's good. Enlarge on it. <laughs> we're going to enlarge on that. Man, they've been listening to all the, the airwaves, whatever's coming through the Internet, Facebook, uh any kind of t news, mm -hmm. television warnings, and all these things. And so whatever we feast on or we put our mind on, you get full of. And statistics like, yeah, out of this world, people dying. It's like you, you're going to go outside and see people laying on the ground or something, you know? <laughs> or I can't breathe the air because there might be COVID in the mm -hmm. middle of it. But mom, I don't see you wearing masks. Unless you really have to. Well, unless they require one yeah. to go into a store. Uh, that means you're just not afraid. Uh, Sue and Scott and Megan, they like to go skiing. So they go to uh, Breckenridge and ski. And Megan, or Sue was skiing. And out on the mountainside on the ski slope, she had uh, taken her mask off. And she got in trouble for that. People hollered at her. Out there in the fresh air. With nobody around. With nobody around. Uh, that's fear. It's fear. And what that fear does, it controls you. Mm -hmm. It's a torment. And it's, it's uh, contagious. It is. Fear is contagious. Mm -hmm. And so I, I'm just thankful from the Lord that I'm not fearful. You're not fearful. No, because the Lord said he's going to take care of us. So mom, all is well. All is well. And you always feed on the scriptures. We're talking about eating that God's word, feeding on those scriptures, not just having fed on them, but continually feeding on the truth that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Mm -hmm. That Psalm 91, he will keep you from deadly plagues. That's what it says. Hallelujah. Even make you immune, immune to it. Immune to disease. So those, that's the word of God, and you're taking that word. And you're not only um, just listening and letting it go in one ear and out the other, but you are delighting in it. Mm -hmm. And you're, and we proclaim it. Proclaim it. We mm -hmm. declare it to be mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. And you're re rejoicing over it. Yeah, praise <laughs> God. Praise so God. Philippians 4, it says, don't worry about anything. But on the other hand, what do you do? You take whatever comes up. Whatever could be a, a care, mm -hmm. um, and you give it to the Lord. And you do that through prayer. Through prayer. You know, that word anxiety means uh, it's like to choke mm -hmm. or uh, to be overwhelmed. Um, I like the Passion Translation. It really gives a vivid picture. It says, don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. So um, if you're distracted or, or by, you know, 
any kind of worry or fretting, it's like you're being pulled in different directions. Mm -hmm. Dismembered, <laughs> distracted. Don't, he said, don't be worried about one thing. Mm -hmm. But what do you do about that thing that might be in your mind, mm -hmm. in your heart? You feel overwhelmed. What do you do? Well, you know, uh, I found out that it's good. I need uh, a visual thing sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I found out if you write that situation down and, um, and the promise, like the Lord to cast your care on the Lord. Mm -hmm. You do it. Do it. Don't be just a, a hearer of the word, but be a doer of the word. And you write it down. And uh, this is what I did. It really helped me. I had an old Bible mm -hmm. that I used like, like it was the hands of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so I would take that, that commitment of that care, of that burden, of mm -hmm. that anxiety, and I wrote it down and I committed it to the Lord. And so, uh, you know, we have an accuser of the brethren, the devil, he tries to bring things up and, and to our minds. And then if we focus on that, we're gonna start saying what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but we wanna focus on the promise. Right. That the, the Lord has our promise. So if we have, have committed that, burden, that care, that anxiety, that worry to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when the, when the adversary comes and starts to try to get us worrying again, taking our, our problem back, no, you just say, no, I've already put that in the hands of the Lord and I leave it there. Because mm -hmm. you know what? If you take that, that promise, uh, take that anxiety mm -hmm. out of the Bible, out of the hands of God, then you've got it. He doesn't have it anymore. He doesn't have it anymore. And so we want him to have it. Then we can say, all is well. All is He's well. He's taking care. He's healing. He's giving us direction. He's providing. He's being our God. It's in God's We've hands. got to let him be our God. So I like that, Mom, how you take, you write down your, your request or whatever you're going through and you commit it to the Lord and you put it in that Bible, you close the Bible and put it on the shelf. And every time you think of it, you think, oh, that's in God's hands. That's in God's hands. That helps me. That's a great visual. That I like that. Me. And I think you've done that with people that maybe have hurt you mm -hmm. or you've had uh, disagreements with. Mm -hmm. You forgive them, mm -hmm. put them in God's hands mm -hmm. and don't worry about it anymore. Mm -hmm. He'll take care of it. And, he, and it works. It, it works. works. It really works. It works. So you're doing something with your mind here. You're doing something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says here in the amplify, uh, the uh, passion uh, to offer faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude, with thanksgiving. Talk about that part because that's part of the process. Yeah, when you uh, commit mm -hmm. a problem, a worry, a stress, you commit it to the Lord and you have the word of God that backs it up, mm -hmm. uh, then say that's what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, that you have taken mm -hmm. this and it's not no longer mine because I've given it to you mm -hmm. just like you told me to. Mm -hmm. And that's where it is. So what you do, you uh, thank God that that's what he's doing and that's what you're doing and it's working. It's working. So thankfulness is so key. Um, so many miracles happen in the Bible when people started thinking. Because what is it? You, I like just the, the Hebrew word for Thanksgiving, uh, todah, is the uplifted hands. Mm. And so to me, that gives you a picture like, okay, Lord, I'm giving you all my needs, all my requests, my problems. But when our hands are lifted up, he takes them and he gives us his perfect peace. Peace, right. <laughs> and that's what's here in this right. scripture. Talk about that. Well, you just give him your problems, mm -hmm. your anxieties, yeah. your frets. And that's that's the what he gives us back is his peace. And it's peace that passes understanding. It says this. Uh, if you do this, mm -hmm. you will experience God's peace which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. If you do what? 
Well, if you're always full of joy, mm -hmm. if you spend time in the presence of the mm -hmm. Lord, because um, that's where the fullness of the joy is, mm -hmm. and that's where you live. That's what it says to uh, rejoice in the God, or your God, your Savior. So w when we need to rejoice, we can rejoice that Jesus is our uh, our Savior, mm -hmm. that He gives us joy, mm -hmm. that we live in His peace, mm -hmm. that if we need wisdom, it says to ask God, and He'll give you His wisdom mm -hmm. and His strength, whatever. And so uh, I think that's Im important to know that His peace, we got to do this. So we do that, and then we let everybody see that we are unselfish and considerate in all that we do. If we let everybody see, we're on display. Wow, that's good. And people do see us. Yeah. And they say, ooh, that didn't sound right. That's so <laughs> uh, But you But you can catch it before it gets there. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord can refine your... Yeah. Uh -huh. You can have a thought here, but the Holy Spirit can intercept that thought mm -hmm. <laughs> or the word that's take planted in you. Mm -hmm. And then you, instead of saying that, you say God's word. Right. Or you say right. something kind or good. Okay, so it's saying if you do the, these things, and so what we, we remember that the Lord is coming soon. Mm -hmm. It says those that, you know, trust and believe that Jesus is coming soon will purify themselves. Yes even as he is pure. Mm -hmm. We don't want him coming when we're in the middle of a fit or something. Mm. Mm. No. <laughs> no, we don't, do No. We? <laughs> okay, then another thing mm -hmm. is we don't worry about anything mm -hmm. and we pray about everything. Mm -hmm. We tell God about our needs and we are not forgetful to thank him. Mm -hmm. If we do all those things, guess what? You will experience God's peace which is far more wonderful than the human mind can comprehend. Supernatural. And then the rest of that says, His peace will keep your hearts and your minds or your thoughts quiet mm -hmm. and at rest as you trust in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. what, what are you trusting? His promises. Mm -hmm. His book is full of promises and we have to know they're there. Yeah. We have to claim them. We mm -hmm. have to say, yes, I believe that. I believe mm -hmm. that you promised your peace mm -hmm. and that you will keep us in all peace. And I, that is a reality in my life. Is it yours? It is. Me having peace. Oh, how wonderful that is. Instead of being frustrated, excuse me, frustrated mm -hmm. and... The Lord takes care of us. He takes care of uh -huh. us. And so that peace <laughs> passes understanding. And uh, a lot of times when he, we receive his peace, he'll give us a song or he'll give us a thought. Right. And we can fix our mind on that. And I like that next uh -huh. verse. It says, fasten your thoughts <coughs> on every glorious work of God. Praising him always, the, the uh, past passion says, put into practice the example of all that you've heard from me. And he says, um, what are we supposed to set our thoughts upon? Everything good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think on these things. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are of good report, Mm -hmm. whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are pure if there be any virtue mm -hmm. or praise think on or meditate on mm -hmm. these things so we can fix I like that we're fixed if something's fixed it's unmovable mm -hmm. it is steadfast fix our minds on him mm -hmm. and then that peace preserves not only us, but wherever you go, like you said, other people can see that mm -hmm. on your face. And then they'll wonder, what's going on with you? Why are you not all worried? Why are you happy? Mm -hmm. You know, and then you go back, Jesus is coming soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm not worried about a thing. No. And that gives us an opportunity to pray for others. That's good. Opens the door. That's good. Always be full of joy. Because 
Uh, yeah, joyful thoughts. And, and what that means is that God has the answer mm -hmm. and we're going to let him be God. Mm -hmm. We're going to trust him. Mm -hmm. And this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. What was it yesterday? We won't name him, but there were several things that happened during the day. And Trent and I pray, and it, it immediately yes. he answered. I, Wasn't that so? Yes, I lost something very valuable. And I remembered where it could be, didn't know. And I was just like tempted to go into hysteria. <laughs> oh, no. And all these images of that mm -hmm. possession being lost forever were in my mind. And I said, no, Mom, we're going to pray. Mm -hmm. And my mom took my hand and said a prayer that, that whatever I lost would be found. And well, and it says, if any two of you agree on mm -hmm. earth as touching right. anything, anything, anything that they shall ask, it will, it will be done for you by my Father, which is in heaven. That's Jesus' Father, but he's our Father too. Yes. And he's the one that takes care of it. So then immediately we need to thank God for the answer. So we, and we did. did. We did. We thanked him. And then I was tempted to worry and get anxious about it. And I said, no, I'm going to be thankful. So that changed my expression on my face, my attitude. So uh, God has given us his perfect peace. He's given us the way that we can walk daily in the peace of God. Those who walk in peace are healthy. Those who walk in his peace have a strength and have his abiding presence. And maybe you're walking through something right now and, and you might be like me yesterday. What am I gonna do about this? It seems impossible. And you imagine all kinds of horrible things happening. Guess what? We're gonna take it to the Lord. And right now, I would like mom to pray a prayer of commitment. That prayer of commitment is committing yourself whatever is troubling you to God and receiving the peace of God using our thanksgiving hallelujah and I believe God will meet you right here right now just stretch your hands toward the screen here and receive this prayer hallelujah it's a miraculous prayer right now amen mama father we're just so thankful that you have told us what to do. And we just are gonna be doers of the word. And so any care, Father, that people have today, we pray that we'll just give it to you and you'll take the care. And in return, you give us your peace and we walk in your peace. And so we can be happy. And so we can be full of joy. And so we can rejoice in the God of our salvation. And that's what we're doing right now. We're rejoicing in you, that you hear and answer our prayers. And we declare right now, because we have cast our cares on you, that all is well. It's in your hands, and you are up taking care of it, and we trust you. And in the meantime, uh, we are praising you. We are rejoicing in the Lord. And oh God, we feel good. And we are so, so thankful, yes. so thankful yes. that you hear us and that you take care of everything that we let you take care of. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I know you enjoyed this lesson and this time together. Um, just go ahead and act on that. Take this, uh, like my mom wrote it down. You write it down. Put it on your cupboard. Practice this about everything. And I believe that the peace of God is Governing your life. That's a good word. Governing. governing your life. Amen. That's good. <laughs> Directing your steps and causing blessing to go before you, behind you, and not only on you, but your children, your grandchildren, right. your co workers, wherever you go, you're going to emanate the very peace of God that right. passes understanding. Right. It's supernatural. Thank you for joining mom and me. Praise God. God bless you. Bless you. Keep you. Shine his face on you and give you peace. And don't forget to look up because Jesus is coming. Hey. That's what the word of God says. And we believe it. Yes, we do. Yes. Bye-bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that teaching on prayer and healing. You know, my mom taught me how to pray. 
and she taught me her whole life, but she not only taught me by her words, but she taught me by her actions. I watched her pray. I watched her spend time with the Lord. I watched her receive her healing and fight for her life. She taught me by example, and I'm so thankful for that. Her book, God's Healing Word, is a must. If you do not have this yet, you need to get this book. She's teaching right out of this book, and she also shares her own personal testimony of being healed from an inoperable brain tumor where she wasn't supposed to make it. And if she did, she wasn't supposed to ever be normal again. But because of the power of the Word of God and learning and knowing how to activate her faith and stand on the promises of God, she is here today to tell the story and to testify to you and to help you also receive your healing. So go get this book. It is so, so good. It's going to help you. Also, Prayer and Healing School will air every single Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time and every Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. It'll be on Facebook as well as YouTube. Don't worry if you missed it. You can go back and watch it again. And if you already watched it, I think you should keep watching it over and over because that word is getting on the inside of you and your faith will grow and increase. Until next time, have a great day.